Snow Day by Michael Luo. A short story from League of Legends. Read to you by Prestige Edition. Snow falls all morning, blanketing the earth in fresh coats of white. One by one, feathery flakes trickle from the sky, gently at first, and then rapidly in unison. Soon the howling blizzard muffles all sounds, save for a peculiar racket coming from a nearby cave, where a shock of orange and blue bounces up and down, left to right. Nar bustles about, annoyed at the world. He has been drawing in the snow under the shelter of rock and stone, but nothing appears the way he imagines. Gripping a bone boomerang almost the size of his torso, the young Yordel curses at the ground. Subanufa, says Nar. This means one of two things. Either he believes the snow is being uncooperative, or he wants some sweet milk. No one can say for certain. With a jump and a skip, Nar tumbles from one unfinished sketch to another, each depicting similar scenes. There they are, bands of carefree yordles living happily among the tribes of the frigid north. Sometimes, wild beasts stand ahead above his kin. Other times, Nar himself towers over everyone else. These little differences do not faze him. Instead, his wide eyes fixate on his boomerang, his paw guiding it to trace out a grand shape with long, sweeping strokes. Onalega, Nar mutters to himself. This means he wishes not to be distracted. In the past, others have confused this with Ogalaga, meaning he would very much enjoy a hug. Placing the boomerang in his mouth to free up his paws, Nar leans downward. His claws pick away bothersome specks of dirt. His nose sniffs the ground, searching for any stray pests daring to deface his work. Pleased with the results, Nar somersaults back to take a wider look. The powdery snow paints the picture of a one-eyed monster with tentacles the size of mountains. Babo! Nar cheers as his boomerang drops from his jaw. The monster is the right amount of scary, just as he imagined. With one arm, it slices through an entire herd of Elnuk. With another, it holds a whole bundle of Elker like sticks. Gonna lumo, Nar grumbles. Upon further inspection, it appears his Elnuk look too much like Elker. This will not do. As he moves to touch up his piece, he stops. His large ears perk, their violet insides twitching with vigilance. Footsteps approach in fours from outside his cave. Perhaps it is the monster and perhaps it has come to express its discontent with how it is being portrayed. Grasping his boomerang, Nar stands upright on his two hind legs. Nakotak, he declares, ready to face his rival once more. In truth, he is thrilled. Ever since he woke up from that long nap, he has wondered where the monster took his friends. Finally, he's about to get some answers. But what trespasses into his cave sees not with one eye, but two. And rather than tentacles, it has legs, stout and stocky. Coarse fur covers its entire body, forming a frosted mane to crown its head and back. Its scarred face appears worn and bitter, marked by two ivory tusks and a stiff, pudgy snout. This is a strange-looking creature, Nar thinks to himself. As the giant Druvisk boar lumbers inside, it sees only the comfort of stone overhead. Its sighs are deep, its breath strands of mist fogging the chill air. The beast's hooves shake the ground beneath, 
stirring up snow like splashes of milk. After a few heavy steps, all of Nar's art is ruined. Rag! Whap! Nar's boomerang strikes the boar right between its eyes. The dazed beast shakes its head, blinking hastily as it lets out an angered growl. Nar pants in a frenzy, wielding his prized weapon up high, enough for the boar to identify its source of pain. Like thunder and lightning, the cave booms twice with roars of rage. Tumbling out come the boar and a positively enormous yordle. Grown to a size larger than even his foe, Nar pummels the intruder with his now massive fisted hands. His wrath fuels every punch, jabbing blow after blow into the boar's thick hide. The fight seems to end as quickly as it began, until the savage beast somehow wrangles its hooves under Nar's chest to kick him away. The colossal yordel collapses next to his cave, bundles of snow rising as he lands. With his spiny back exposed, his head woozy, Nar hears repeated huffs and puffs, and the clatter of those same bullish hooves scraping faster and faster on the wintry soil. The blizzard wails louder than before, as though the frail yord is bracing itself for the coming loss of one of its own. The hulking yordle bellows, leaping away from the boar's charge. In a flash, he slams his bulky arms against the beast's behind, sending it forward to crash into the rocky wall of the cave's entrance. A stunted screech pierces the wind. Frozen rocks crumble onto the boar, now lying still. Nar trudges toward the beast, his breath short and rushed. He nudges its limp body with his foot. There is no resistance. He decides it has fallen asleep, but remains perplexed why its eyes are open. Curiously, the snow around the boar turns a deep red. All of this seems quite odd, and yet it is not the first time this has piqued Nar's interest. His memory flickers with similar images. Before the long nap, he would see different tribes yelling gibberish as they threw pointed sticks at one another. Their game looked at once exciting and exhausting, and Nar would watch them until enough of one side fell asleep on red snow. They must have been awfully tired, just like this strange, tusked yordle. Thinking of those bygone days makes Nar quiet. He remembers waking up from the long nap, believing the world took away everything he ever knew. His breath slows, his shoulders slump, his feet shrinking until even he would not believe that he stands in his very own footprints from mere seconds ago. The small yordel dashes into his cave to retrieve his boomerang, hugging it with all his might. It is the one thing that did not leave him after the long nap. For a moment, Nar glances at the boar. It rests out in the elements without a whisper. Setting his boomerang lightly on the ground, he skitters back into the storm. The blizzard surges on. Nar is not bothered, but maybe the slumbering beast is. With his tiny paws, he gathers all the snow he can and carefully places it atop the boar. It is sleeping, after all, and it will need a blanket. Thanks for listening. All credit for these stories goes to Riot Games and League of Legends. Full details can be found in the video description. If you enjoyed this production, please hit like and subscribe. There's a lot more coming.